Hey guys, this is Henry from Mobedia again. Today we're going to keep working on our Zoom functions in Pro Tools. So, um, we're going to learn today how to apply vertical zoom on your waveforms. So, um, <clears throat> this is another very useful feature, especially when you're trying to find uh, like background noise or like room noise and things like that, you might want to zoom in into that waveform to see uh, if there's any kind of low-level information to cut. So, how do you apply vertical zoom? Well, we go back to our zoom functions here, and there's this little waveform here that has an arrow pointing up and down. The arrow pointing up and down, that's your zoom in vertically, and the arrow pointing down as your zoom out, vertical zoom out. So if you want to zoom in vertically, just click on that arrow that's pointing up. And as you can see, the waveform gets bigger. Now, if you want to zoom out, you can click at the arrow that points down. Okay, so once again, this is crucial to understand. The fact that you're zooming in or out on the waveform doesn't mean that you're making it softer or louder. Um, if I go ahead and press play, that has a level. Now if I zoom into that, kind of looks like it's clipping, right? As you can see, if, if you see that and someone sends you a file that's recorded like that, you might think, well, that's clipping. Well, guess what? It is not. It is not clipping because that's not the actual waveform. This is a zoom in version of that waveform. Okay? Same thing if I zoom out, it kind of looks weak, right? You might think, well, that's going to be very soft. It's going to be dull. I'm going to have to crank it up. Well, guess what? You don't because the reason why it looks like it's soft, it's because we zoomed out vertically. Now there's also um, a key command to zoom in and out. If you're on a Mac, you can do command option left bracket to zoom out or uh, right bracket to zoom in. If you're on a PC, you would do control alt and then left bracket to zoom out and right bracket to zoom in, right? Um, so once again, let's say you're looking for um, noise, low level noise. This happens a lot, especially here we're working with the story guitars, right? If you want to know if there's any kind of low level noise at the start, you could zoom in and here you can see like this is obviously um, the guitar information, right? But here at the start there is something there. Well, guess what? That's low level noise. Now, if this was like that, you probably wouldn't know, right? But if you zoom in vertically, Oh, there it is. There's something there. So you might want to just go there, select it, delete it, and then go back to where it was. So that way, you just cut that noise there. Uh, same thing you would use if you're, let's say, trying to remove uh, noise from vocals and, you know, little clips and pops in between takes um, or in between lines. You might want to use that zoom in and out or that vertical zoom in and out feature to find those spots. So that's the vertical zoom in Pro Tools. If you have any other questions, please call us from Obedia and PC Audio Labs and we will be happy to help you. We will see you guys soon. Bye-bye. Want to learn how to produce music using this or using that or using all of these? Have you been watching videos, reading manuals, blogs, and trying to figure out everything that it takes to be a music producer? Do you have a bunch of music gear that you purchased and you still haven't made any music? Well, then you need Obedia, the world's only one-on-one -on -one digital audio training and tech support service. Check out the link below for a special new subscriber offer.